Well, colorectal cancer has been in the news a lot lately with several celebrities getting diagnosed in their 40s. And in fact, recent data shows there's been a sharp rise in cases among younger adults. But an international medical study found that a four-week program of diet, exercise, mental health support, even quitting smoking, helped some colorectal cancer patients recover faster from treatment and mitigate serious complications. So this strategy is referred to as prehabilitation. It's proactive medical intervention. Mm -hmm. that's aimed at rebuilding and strengthening your body prior to cancer surgery or chemotherapy. Joining us now, Dr. Omar Rivari. He is the Chief of Radiation Oncology at Luminous Health. Doctor, it is a pleasure to have you with us. I think this concept of like prehab mm -hmm. is actually new for a lot of people. What does it entail and how much improvement are we actually talking that we saw with the study? Well, first of all, thank you for having me on. And prehabilitation is a relatively new concept. Most people know about re rehabilitation, which happens after the surgery. Mm -hmm. But I would argue that prehabilitation actually may help more. And it's, it consists of exercise, a structured exercise plan, nutrition, and um, stress reduction. And this should happen four weeks prior to surgery. Uh, Dr. Rivera, this, this study was pretty intense because the program, doctors monitored the patients, they watched what they ate, they monitored their exercise. What exactly was the program when it come to, came to diet and exercise? For exercise, it, con it consisted of a combination of both aerobic as well as high intensity workouts done about three to four times a week. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the diet, it was a um, um, meetings with nutritionists to go over uh, nutrition, but particularly 30 grams of protein uh, after the workout and again before bedtime. Mm. How much improvement are we talking though? How much were they improving? Yeah, and that's it's actually quite a significant improvement. Over 50% reductions in complications wow. after the surgery, yeah, as well as um, shorter hospital stays and uh, faster recovery. Do you think these recommendations, what you know, you saw here with the colorectal cancer patients, yeah. could that apply to other cancer patients? While most people have been studying colorectal, there have been smaller studies in breast cancer, mm -hmm. esophageal cancer, and lung cancer. So I apply it to all my patients and extrapolate from this. Okay. It's interesting because this study looked at older patients in their 60s and their 70s, but I have been shocked yeah. at the number of young healthy people these days who are being diagnosed with colorectal cancer. Could these improvements and lifestyle improvements and suggestions help these younger patients? I agree completely. I've also noticed a large rise of people in their 30s and 40s and 50s getting these cancers. And I know it's oftentimes harder to incorporate this into your lifestyle when you're that busy, but I do think that incorporating exercise and better diet with higher protein, even for younger patients, will be helpful. Yeah. All right. Dr. Amar Ravari, Luminous Health, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Prehab.